Now, investing in Africa and creating a framework for investment conducive for African development is a key focus of the Pan-African Investment Conference in Gabon. Participants have noted that Africa's economic future is greatly tied to China and are looking for ways to enhance engagement with their eastern partner. CCTV's Beatrice Marshall spoke to Olusoko Nabasanjo on Africa's growing partnership with China. I believe that uh, I was the first, or one of the first, if not the first, in, uh, uh, as an African uh, leader who uh, established strategic partnership with uh, China um, in uh, very early in the uh, uh, 21st century. And what, do, what are we saying? We are saying, yes, whatever you want that we have, let us let it be of mutual advantage. Um, we want something. And what do we want? We want to be able to have reasonable revenue from our resources. If you want our resources, we need that our laws and rules must be respected. We want infrastructure. And if you can give us that, yes, and we will pay for it either directly or in, we, we take loan at reasonable interest rate and we pay as and when due. Now, this is what we want, and this is what we should get. Uh, and then we say, all right, when we do this, it's for mutual benefit. What does China want from us? China wants certain of our commodities to enhance their own development and keep it going. And we should, be, we should make it available. In fact, the competition between China wanting our uh, part of uh, natural resources and other uh, resources and the West wanting it, it's good for us.